Hi, Tucson Police Department. Who am I speaking with, please? Officer Foley, who is Hi, Officer Foley. This is Tommy Wasserberg calling from 168. Okay, so you know who's on the phone. Um, there was a, 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 uh, an assault report made last week that I'm calling for follow up on because, like, one of the parties to this is employed in the store. And I really feel unsafe in that store when he's on duty. Okay, what would you like me to do right now? Well, I'd like to know what the status is. I sent uh, the reporting officer a photo of the guy, and I've heard back from nobody. You know, I've never been, you know, when there's a, you know, a, a, a crime against person or a property crime committed against me, I get no follow up and then I get I get what, what my enemies are calling targ wrangle when I try to bring you a complaint about what's going on, you know, in the way of cyber terrorism against me. What's the case report number that you're referring oh, to? Oh geez, I'm sorry. Do you have any way of accessing it by like the I date don't. the date and name and stuff? Because like I've been cleaning in my studio and I don't know what I did with the buying notice. Yeah, I, I have no way to you got assaulted? I got assaulted by, and it's twice now, the dope dealers. I'm out there with a camera, and they've uh -huh. assaulted me twice, this one guy, and I got a picture of him the second time, and the guy in the store is involved with the distribution on that corner. That's a fucking hot corner, man. I have, you know, I've been all over America and don't know many other hotter corners. Don't call me sir again, man. Okay. Thank what is the address of the store? The store is the Quick Mart. I don't know the exact address. It it should be on Fourth at Twenty Second Street. That whole corner, you know, we call it Needle Park. That 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 section of 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 Santa Rita Park. Who is the officer that took the report? Let me find that because I sent him, I sent him an email. I have that in my email at least. So let me get my email up. And, and, you know, I, I've been requesting a meeting with, with a, a, a community liaison officer about all this because, like, you know, it's big time dope, dope dealing over there. And well, how has that uh, request gone for the meeting? I, nobody will get back to me. I, you know, I talk to whoever picks up, picks up at, your, at the desk you're on and, and make the request, and nobody ever, and never, nobody ever gets back. Uh, what day did the assault take place? I, I'm finding that. Let me get it. Let me get to my hotmail. Oh, yay. My raincoat came. <laughs> uh, sent items. Ornelas. William Ornelas. O-R-N-E-L-A-S. Uh, what, what day did this happen on? 22nd. I'm not sure how he reported it. Might have been a terroristic threat because the guy never touched me. He had knocked me down the first time. Uh, you know, I'm out there with a camera, and the first time 
there were a bunch of them sitting under a tree on, on, on Fourth Avenue, and I was walking to the store on the other side of the street, and I just kind of pointed the camera over there so I could I had the, the telephoto lens to look through, and I didn't even take his picture. I was just looking through my telephoto lens. What, what time did this happen uh, I think it was about 7 o'clock. PM. It was just before dark. And the call came from this address. 160 East 21st Street. They can usually find it with my name and address when 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 they go searching for something like this. Yeah, I'm looking at the twenty second at that quick mark and all I find is the uh, call came from my home. It didn't come from the quick mark. But you the reported assault took place at the quick mark, I thought. Yeah, but I, I reported it from my home. That's the address he used. I mean, I'm, I'm less than 100 yards from that store. So give me the home address that you reported at. 160 East 21st. And this was on the 22nd of July. At about 6 to 7 o'clock p.m., yeah. Yeah, because it was just before sunset that I went out to get, to get uh, something, and this guy... And I was I was shooting the clouds. I was pointed at the clouds that night. The, the first night I was just looking through my telephoto lens at the group under the tree. And, and he come across the street and knocked me down. Uh, but on the corner he just got up in my face and threatened me and you know you, you know did the puffed out chest thing, to tell me he was gonna fuck me up. Okay, so do you want the case report number? That would help, but, yeah, yeah and, and like if it's assigned to anybody, if, you know, he's got a photograph of the guy that I sent to him, he should be able to find the dude. The dude's out there all the time, and, and the narcotics people should be on this shit. I'm sorry? I say the narcotics people should be investigating this. Two zero zero seven two two zero two two one. Correct. Cool. And it looks like it's still under investigation, so and I did not show that it's been assigned to anyone and it still shows. So it's just it's them. just a low priority sitting there. Not assigned. I don't know about a low priority. It's it's just not assigned and being that it was just uh Well, you know, I I'd sure like to discuss uh, enforcement with somebody in my neighborhood because they come over here and sit on the on the power on the power box to smoke their glass. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, so let me uh, I'll give you Officer Cornelius' cell phone number and you can leave a message for that officer. Well, he's just a patrol officer. This is this is for this is this is tactical kind of shit, man. That you got you if you don't have a neighborhood. Tack unit on this crap, you need to. Okay. Okay, so I can uh, pass a message on to somebody, I guess. Yeah. What, I can, what else can I do for you? 50 pound bag of $5 bills. Uh, okay. And, and, and I'm looking for a man, uh, you know, a really solid man with a vagina. Okay. So if you can help with that, that'd be cool. And I appreciate oh. I appreciate your help tonight. And Have a good day. Yeah, please. I want to talk to somebody, otherwise, I'm suing. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, I'm not feeling safe at all on my corner, and and they're just jerking that off, that that complaint off too. So let's see what. Uh,
We're going to have some fun now. We're going to open up a new OPS case. Hi, Sergeant Sullivan. How are you today? Excellent. How are you? Oh, better and badder. You know who this is? I don't want to guess because there's so many people that call here. I'll guess wrong. I know, I know that the uh, voice sounds familiar, though. Okay, this is Tommy Wasserberg. Hi, Tommy. How are you? I'm rather well, thanks. And yourself? I'm hanging in there. It's my Friday. Over, so. I always recommend people swing because it's too easy to hit a stationary target. <laughs> um, is Zeiss in the office ready to pick up a phone? Yes, who? I'm sorry. Sergeant Zeiss. Let me see. She, I think she is, but she's in the middle of a, a relatively serious. She's been. She's just, She's been up to her ass in alligators all week. Yeah, she. We have a pretty serious one going on down here. Okay. Um, well, who's who? Nah, nah, I, I had a feeling that was what was up, um, that that was why she wasn't getting back to me. She I need to, today. She hasn't been in her office. I didn't call her today, I've been, okay, I need somebody who's ready to work with me, right now, please. I got you. Is it you? Sure. Okay, great. Um, are you familiar with the ongoing issue? Um. I'm a, I'm a dissident artist, and I'm, I'm targeted for cyber terrorism. That's been I brought it oh, with me to this. Okay. I yeah, brought it yeah. with me to this town. I'm roughly I'm roughly familiar with that. I've, I've heard the other supervisor you talking to the other. Yeah, well, I need you know I'm I'm getting stonewalled right now. I hope. All right, open the open your open your case uh, your your complaint form, and I'll. Okay. Tell you, are you getting stolen by us? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Would you like me to start from the top down or the bottom up? Is Sergeant Zeiss the main sergeant you've been dealing with this? I wouldn't say main, I would say current. Current, okay, fair enough. Okay. Work up from her. Yeah, no, that's okay, but I need somebody to do what she promised to do if she hasn't done it immediately. Yeah. Uh, and if you don't do that, I need an explanation of why. And I also have been requesting for over a month for the reason why the FBI has not been called in for assistance. Okay, so that, and then there's a third one. This is, and this is kind of a separate issue, but connected to the main complaint that I'm making against the brass for a, a, a 1983, you know, I think it's section 1983, you know, denial of constitutional rights. Yeah, that's this complaint. It's a 1983 complaint. Okay. So I think if it's that, that the multiple investigators the last one is not, not getting the job done. Do you know we have a new lieutenant down here? Pegnato, or has she been replaced? No, she's been replaced. So let me give you his extension. Okay, then, we'll start there because yeah. that's, and then I'll finish, then we'll finish the complaint. Yeah. Well, you right. know, I mean, I want to take the complaint right now because yeah, this is this is just fucking bullshit that's, that's been going on for five years. No, I got you. And in fairness, this isn't like, you know, trying to get anybody in trouble, but he, No, I did. So, I did. I did. I did. I did. You know, I, I you know, never, I never wore the uniform, but I come from a military industrial family, okay. and I'm okay. well trained. Yeah, you understand. Okay, let me, uh, let me give you an extension. Just tell me What's right. his name? So it's uh, Lieutenant Peterson. Oh Jesus, Mickey. Yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> what? You got a problem with Mickey? He might be dirty. I hope not. All right. So, do you want me to give you our uh, captain's name, and then you try her, and then she can determine whether it's kind of Peterson, and then Sergeant. Yeah, because or... Peterson's mixed up. He there's a report. He's the only one that's written a report, and I don't even know what's in it. And he was. He's. He's. You know, the the gang that's on me claims to own him, and the captain no, Duffy and no, some no, others. No, no, come on, Tommy. Well, me, well, you know, my 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 thoughts my thoughts are that you know. Um, the uh, claims of being major criminals is probably bullshit, but they are defaming me for profit. I get you. I get you. Uh, 
Uh, I'll tell you, let me give you our captain's uh, David number. Please. So it's Captain Duffy. Oh, Jesus, that's the other one. Okay, you got a problem with her, too? No, they claim to own them both. Oh, my goodness. Wait till All she right. sees well, the so fucking screen caps. That down, so. No, 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 for, no, no, absolutely not. I, I want to contact them both because I know that these guys are full of shit and they don't I own either to, one of these people. If you're willing, if you don't think Peterson is dirty, then that's where you, that's where you really want to start. Going well, yeah, I know about going up the, the chain of command. Yeah, so let me give you his number. Now give me both of them, please. All right, so 837 That's okay. I'll, if I need it, if I need it, I'll come back to it. Otherwise, I'll just ask it to switchboard to be connected. Yeah, and he'll, he can give you the captain's name. Right. If, 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 if you're happy with his response, then yeah, that's our right. Thing is we right. Can one, okay, one but I do, I do want to, I do want to open this complaint. All right. So what do you got going on today? Okay. Well, it's it's the the general complaint is 1983, and I don't know. Um, that's like U.S. Code, right? Well, no, that's the section. Let me let me find. It's, it's I think it's I think it's a, a U.S.C. 42, section 1983. Let me see what it is exactly. Okay. Yeah, it's 42, 1983, and it's uh, for deprivation. Against state and 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 government state government employees and acting under color of law for civil rights violation, my assertion is that I'm being totally de denied any kind of police uh, service uh, when there's a property crime. It never gets investigated, followed up on. Okay, when there's there's an assault against me, you know, one time they called it mutual combat. Uh, when it wasn't, I was attacked, and I had blood all over my face, and my instrument had been broken by a guy that later went and stole it. At least they got him for that because they, they busted him on a felony warrant and managed to get him into court for my case. Uh, and that's how little, you know, little due diligence there is on my connect my 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 complaints. And you know, that's just the the you know the misdemeanor stuff that happens in the streets. You know, because of what I do. I got you. Uh, and, 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 and just so we're clear, just, I mean, I know the answer to the question, but you might ask, just so we're clear. So, and you're saying that, that members of the department or the department in general, the Tucson Police Department, are violating that code. From the top, that, you know, from the chain property. of command down. There is a command at the top yeah. that I orders the, 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 chief, the chief secretary. Are you recording? I am. And I've got, I've got something, I've got, I'm, I'm catching a really powerful signal on my heart. Very powerful signal on my heart that's listening into this. On your heart? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. I'm bionic. Are you okay? I'll be fine, but I know that something has locked onto my heart signal. I can feel it. All right. I'm not doing, I promise you, I'm not doing anything. No, I know you're not. This is extraterrestrial, okay. I'm sure. Oh, okay. That's my, my, my guides, the, you know, my watchers, my, my ascended ancestors are in this, are listening now. Um, okay, so, um, did, did you just, if I have one. I'm one, saying that there are two. orders from the top down, fuck gotcha. Wasserberg. There, I have proof. And this is like a pattern as far as you're concerned? From the beginning. From the beginning, okay. I have proof that there is an order. There is an order to the top, uh, to the top receptionist to block my number. Okay. Uh, so you try to call the chief's office and they won't even talk to you. The last thing that Lisa told me yesterday, I haven't called her today. She would have somebody call me. I told her about Zeiss not getting back to me, and she said she would have somebody call me, and, and nobody's called. I'm going back, you know, starting at the bottom of the chain of command, starting starting at, at South Operations regarding report number 2007 
which is a terroristic threat and assault. Is that one of our case numbers? Yeah. Okay, you're miss, I, I missed a zero in there or something in there, so it's 2007. 22022. 22022. Okay. Uh, yeah, and, and that and that was uh, I'm get I, I there's I'm out there with a camera and the drug dealers are threatening me. There's this one black guy that's assaulted me a couple of weeks ago, and then I was out there shooting the shooting the clouds, and he got up in my face threatening me. And there's somebody well, working the inside the. Huh? I know, I know, and I live less than a hundred yards from the fucking store, and and uh, I've been assaulted numerous times there, uh, in some way or another. There's a guy inside the store that works with the drug dealers, allows them inside the store, making deals, and right outside the fucking door. I've had them pass packets right in front of my face. The, the status of the case is active and unassigned. Which, if you go back on a hundred or so reports of mine, that's the only status they ever achieve. Okay, that's the complaint. It's a 1983 complaint. You guys are going to investigate it, please. I will definitely... This started... This started like five years ago on Tool Street on the side of the Congress Hotel at a special event where I jacked up then Captain Kuzmerzak with it because I brought it to town and it was starting to amp up again uh, and and they had moved a heroin dealer in next door to me the uh, the there are several syndicates that are targeting me oh, okay. Uh, the okay, one, two of them have websites, and the other is the Rainbow Family, the dope dealers of the Rainbow Family, and they're, they're the ones that moved him in there. Um, and instead of investigating that, they investigated me. There were four psychiatric petitions. Uh, Kaz Merzak used to seem to look on his on his face when I told him that. He's like, "Oh my goodness!" And 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 then and then, and then uh, oh, and Wayne Formo even jerked me off on that one. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you know, come on. I'm getting jerked around. I have been getting jerked around since the beginning. Yeah, he was still a patrol he officer. He was, he was, he was, he was the responder. I got you, I got you. Yeah, and, you know, there's a, there's a, a flaw in, in your, there are two flaws. Three. There are three defects in your department that I'm, I want in this complaint. Number one is you do not have 24-7 uh, non-emergency call service. Okay, no 24-7 And Formal okay. is witness to this because, of, you know, I was having to call 911 because of when the things were happening. Right. And okay. that's why I got, uh, that's why I got petitioned. That's why I got petitioned. The other flaw, uh, so we'll move past Kaz Merzak to uh, Lieutenant Scott, who he handed me off to, who explained to me that you do not have the jurisdiction and that you could only act as a reporting agency. And if he felt that it merited it, they would forward it to the FBI for assistance. Instead, Winsky and his crew just four falsified psych petitions. And today, after five years of steadily escalating shit, Sergeant Zeiss has not informed me whether she has contacted Captain Sawyer of the Aiken Police Department to request a psychiatric evaluation on one Mr. David Price, who complained about me last week there, and has been on a manic break ever since, rage typing at me at another message board, which gets taken out by the professional cyber terrorists and turned into memes spread all over the world. What agency is Captain Sawyer with? Captain Sawyer is the City of Aiken Public Safety. Like Aiken, South Carolina? City of Aiken, not the sheriff. I mean, South Carolina? Correct. Back to your sec, the, the thing about so Lieutenant Scott 
Scott told you that we couldn't enforce the? Were you talking about this? You had no way anything? of prosecuting anything. You had no, uh, and what he oh, didn't. He referenced the guy over in South Carolina. No, no, this was five years ago. I talked to Scott. What was he telling you we couldn't do? We didn't have jurisdiction. He did. He, you don't have jurisdiction. What he didn't admit to is that you don't have a computer forensics team, and I'm not the only victim of cybercrime. Oh, he said we didn't have jurisdiction for cybercrime. He, you don't have jurisdiction to do anything, and you don't have the tools to even investigate cybercrime. I got I got 9/11 pranked three times. They had one guy on the phone for a half hour, 45 minutes, saying he was me, and and that, and they couldn't do anything about it because it was a VOIP number they couldn't trace. What was the third thing? The third thing is uh, uh, your uh, my 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 niece, my niece's husband, is what they call an intelligence officer. For the Madison Police Department, he well, works. Department? Madison, Wisconsin. Madison, Wisconsin. He works with crime scene victims. Yeah. I have never, ever, ever been contacted by a, by a, an officer with that uh, profile. Nobody ever has done it. You spent your money on fucking nice tactical gear that you don't really fucking need in this town. And you got no community policing service. You need follow up. You need investigators. You need detectives that are gonna gonna find these people and recover the property. Right. right. No, it, it's it's yes we. You don't need fucking AR-15s and SUVs, man. Property crimes, unfortunately, have a soft property crimes investigation. You're spending too much money on, on equipment you don't need. What is the justification for all the armor and automatic weapons? Well, I mean, our, our SWAT team has automatic weapons. Yeah, everybody does now, man. I, they Not come to my door and fucking suit it up. Not everyone. We just get so it sure fucking seems like that. They carry rifles now because it says shotguns. Just like every cop back in the 70s, there used to be a shotgun in the vehicle. Okay, I'll like, buy that. I'll take that. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so it's not that they're like machine guns or something like that. It's just we have rifles. You, 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 you take it. Right, and they're safer. Hey, well, yeah, well, yeah, I guess. But, well, it's safer than the cop's going to hit what he's shooting at as opposed to rounds going all over the place. Right, right. Well, let me hear what you say. So, stuff to work so on. well, no, there's more. Let's, 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 like, tie it from the beginning to the end. Yeah. Uh, because. Right, so let, me, let me work on some of this stuff. Let me. I the, I'll get with I'll get with Peterson. I'll get with Peterson for sure, probably as soon as we hang up. But basically there's two things on the, that are active and open that are not being acted on. The, the local thing, you know, the thing in Aiken. Yeah, and it, everybody down here, I'm about the only one that's actually sitting at the phone right now. And you probably got other phones ringing, so I'll let you go. Okay, we got, yeah, like I said, so... And you were, again, what would, who were you again? This is Sullivan. Sullivan. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, man, thank so, you. Um, yeah, no problem. And so, like I said, today might be tough to get a phone call. No, I hear you, I hear you. You've got something big time stupid going on, and today's okay, only Thursday. Today's what only, do do, yeah. today's Thursday. I'll, I'll give it, I'll, I'll wait until in the morning to bother anybody above you. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> All right, Tommy. Happy day! I want to, you know, I, you know, you're laughing, and you got a lot of giggles, and you understood me. Um, my enemies are calling you a tarred wrangler. Oh, that's not good. How do you feel like about that? Of being accused of being assigned to just them, fucking me over, and yeah, 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 goodbye. I called a lot worse, that's for sure. But no, I mean, I, I, I would say I'm taking what you're telling me serious, but I don't think I have to be here, you know. Yes, ma'am. I absolutely want you to say. Yeah. You know, just, I can talk to you like a normal person. Try to understand where you're coming from. We had a conversation. We talked like, look, we cleared up the whole misconception about rifles versus shotguns, right? Right. So we can have a conversation. It doesn't have to be confrontational or officious or anything. We can talk like two human, two human beings, right? Right. Right. Yeah. So, so you know, it's not like I'm out of control screaming at you, and you're not no, sitting no, there. No. You're not no, sitting no. there scratching your head waiting for me to hang up. Yeah. No. Not at all. Not at all. Cool. Thank you, Sullivan. Right. Happy day, man. All right.
Good luck with the crazy shit going on. Bye bye. Tired wrangling my ass. They're 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 incapable of responding. Mother said something something's talking to my heart. Just straight straight square right to my heart. Bam. Coming straight in the top and going straight to my heart and coming straight out. Oh yeah, because you know, just holding my hand over my heart, I can feel I can feel my energy balancing to my feet. What a fucking day! Yeah, I'm a navigator. If you're into science fiction, I'm a, I'm a transceiver. Right? I'm a live transceiver. I don't hear fucking voices unless I want to. <laughs> uh, and if they show up in my head un uninvited, they need to come with a face. Okay? And, and if they're just badgering me, they're, like, ordered out. And if I need to call, like, some serious help from either side, I will. I, I'm, not, I'm not shy about that. Because I'm a favorite child of the Olympians. Okay? I'm one of the children of the children of heaven. Plain and simple. You can believe me to be totally insane, or you can like relate to me as your heart relates to what I'm saying to you. The people who hate me, their hearts are going to hate me because they're completely possessed by the dark side forces. I am a child of the light, and I've had a very enlightening day. Uh, I had 20 minutes with my mother. Um, I made a new friend who's a PhD uh, sociologist. He was in social services with a PhD, kind of semi-retired. Uh, through an old friend, I, 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 I made him, boy, I'm not happy about this at all. It's, you know, it's not going away now that I'm hung up. Fucking gets his hand on my heart, starts squeezing. When he really wants to make sure I'm paying attention. <laughs> Tell me about my co my COPD, fucking idiots. If you wonder what a 1983 complaint is, let's uh, go to Cornell, which is my library of choice. 42 Code, Section 1983, Civil Action for Deprivation of Rights. And I just complained to the Office of Professional Standards about the entire department from, and I didn't even get my complaint to the, about the chief in. I, uh, you know, the chief has refused to respond to an email. Well, I did get it, you know, because his, his, his top reception is ordered to block my number. Every person who, under color of any statute, Ordinance, regulation, custom, or usage of any state or territory or the District of Columbia, subjects or causes to be subjected, any citizen of the United States or other person within the jurisdiction, therefore, to the deprivation of any rights, privileges, or immunities secured by the Constitution and laws, shall be liable to the party injured in an action at law, suit in equity or other proper proceeding for redress, except that in any legal action brought against a judicial officer for an act or omission taken in such officer's judicial capacity, injunctive relief shall not be granted unless a declaratory degree, decree was violated or declaratory relief was unavailable. For the purposes of this section, any act of Congress applicable exclusively to this Columbia, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> <coughs> so if you're paying attention to the conversation, um, The Tucson Police Department is sworn to, you know, do a particular duty that they're failing to execute on behalf of me when I'm victimized. 
And I'm not the only one that they're failing to do this for because they lack the uh, those three very important elements of uh, 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 services, uh, units in, within the department, a cybercrime unit, a 24-hour non-emergency coverage, and intelligence officers who investigate the crimes, which they don't have any of it. All they got is patrol. They're barely, barely hanging out with the resources they have to get their patrol officers properly equipped and be able to keep them in the street, enough of them, and, and get things done. I mean, they're totally this ice. What's going on with me is so low profile that uh, I probably should call Aiken and, and find out and tell him what's going on here. Um, no, now I got now I have now I, I have a reason I can call Aiken. It's now it's like hey, uh, city of Tucson, the Tucson police have been tied up with some some important investigation. Okay, well they're they're closed. Okay, so I can't do it. They're already closed. They're three hours ahead. It's six o'clock there. What the fuck is I got a short on the floor somewhere? Fuck. I just got zapped by my saxophone case on my toe. That's weird. Um okay, so anyway. I don't have the entire angle. They're just totally incapable. And it turns out that Duffy and Peterson are the captain and the lieutenant at OPS now. You own them, or they're going to get pissed. Which is it going to be, boys? Happy day. Thanks for watching. Bye.